Hey everybody, Rebecca here with Rebecca's Wellness. So good to be with all of you and I have some exciting stuff to show you. So we got back from Branson and I'll probably do another video with some of the stuff that I created while I was there. But this one is specifically for my yarn hauls. I visited two little yarn stores three times in the last eight days, um, once on the way down there and twice on the way back. And I had some amazing finds. You guys really need to hit the little yarn stores. They're independently owned. They're all amazing. They all have their own qualities and they're great. I should read you my shirt since it's probably going to be on backwards. It says, Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but this yarn is so delightful. Yarn. And since we've no place to go, another row, another row, another row. And this is pretty sparkly here. It's got, to, I found that online and I just asked one of our local shirt makers to make it for me and she did and she did a great job. So... I'm so excited to show you guys this yarn. This is pretty awesome. So what I did is on my way out of town to go to our church observance in Branson, Missouri, I stopped only an hour from my house at Hastings, Nebraska. So this is our business card and you might not even be able to read it backwards. But it says that Cheryl Jensen is the owner. It's located at 743 West 2nd Street, Hastings. The website is theplumnelly.com. And I was just checking it out. I don't remember it having so much stuff on it before. But now it seems to have a lot of the stuff I saw in the store. So um, there's some hand-dyed things on here that look amazing. Um, so this is located in... Like, it shares, four businesses share the rent of this pretty large space. In fact, it goes up three floors. They took me up the elevator because on the third floor, you guys, there's looms. There's spinning wheels. And she wanted to show me some of her latest creations, which I bought and I can't wait to show you. But anyway, you should go visit Cheryl. Um, the other businesses in that building are, there's a quilting business. There's a beading jewelry business. And there's a scrapbooking business. So they have long tables and they have a, the big uh, quilting machine and they have room for crafts and uh, get together. So if you ever like need a place to meet friends at, that's a great place. I'm actually considering doing that, even though it's still an hour from my house. But so I went in there because I was very interested in the Brown Sheep Company, which is located out in Mitchell, Nebraska, which is in the Panhandle. And it's a six hour drive for me. But you guys, I've been stalking the Mitchell or the Brown Sheep Company website for a couple years now. And I have been a little obsessed. And the Plum Nelly is the closest distributor of the Brown Sheep Company that I have near me. So that was the reason I stopped in there. So when I first walked in, she was, you know, very friendly and came up to me and said, what can I help you with? And I said, I need the bathroom and I need Brown Sheep Company. <laughs> so I first touched a Brown Sheep Company yarn and to be honest with you, I wasn't completely impressed. Now I've only touched the one and then I got very distracted with the hand spun locally grown alpaca. Look at this, you guys. This says alpaca two ply 235. 38 yards Kramer's fleece and I know that there is a Kramer yarn company out in Pennsylvania and I've been to their website a bunch of times and I'm probably going to be ordering their mystery bag pretty soon because other people have ordered I've got amazing stuff so as soon as they restock that I'm in but when I read this I was like did you order fleece from Pennsylvania is that what Kramer she goes no that's the name of the alpaca that provided this fleece and I'm pretty amazed. And I said, so this is undyed. There's white in here. And I'm like, even that white? And they said, yes. Yeah. So I'm not hugely familiar, but I'm assuming that the undercoat has some white in it. Because look, look at Kramer's 
yarn. Isn't it gorgeous? So this is really dense. It's not that soft, but I'm in love because it's hand spun and not dyed. And I got two of those. There's more to this story at the end. So these are really big hanks, 263 yards. And you guys look, the price is really not that bad. $15 for hand spun alpaca. So I'm kind of hoping for a sweater large enough for me. And so together, this is like 500 yards. I still need like another thousand probably to have enough to fit me. So I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm so excited though. So the other one that I ended up getting there from, this is alpaca, $18. And this is from, it says from Shepherd's Mill. So they probably ordered that fleece from Shepherd's Mill. You know, I was so, I didn't ask enough questions. I really should have asked a hundred questions, but I still have a bunch of questions. But just look at this. So there's a little bit of like darker gray right in there. I'm not sure if this is undyed or not. This might be slightly dyed because look, this one has... A little bit of pink. Oh, there it focus. See that right there? A little bit of pink. Not much. I mean, you really have to look. And there's a green tinge to it on this side. Let me if I hide my face. There. This is nice. This is nice. I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And then she took me upstairs to that third floor where she had just created this. Look at this beautiful thing, you guys. This is wool that she dyed with Kool-Aid. So if you didn't know this, Hastings is the home of Kool-Aid, and I think they were having Kool-Aid days, or I think she said they were donated to some charity, and she had dyed this for that. So then she had to dye more because I took this. So yeah, she gave me a very good price on this. This is wool. I think it's not super wash, so that means it's not going to be washable. So it has to be a pretty special project. Look how cool this is. Isn't that neat? And that she wove them together like that. She also had the purple by itself and this uh, green chartreuse color by itself. I really should have got both of those. But I just ended up with this. And look how big this is. This is probably a thousand yards. Look how huge that hink is. So, something special. You guys have ideas for me? Give them to me, because I need them. Um, oh, she also gave me... A, let me just show this to you. She gave me this gray. <laughs> so, she actually just gave this to me. It was kind of a scrap as she was uh, spinning, and she had some extra... How do I make it focus on that? But anyway, she just gave this pink, or this uh, gray to me. And I ended up making it into this, which I actually just published this for free on Ravelry. And the burgundy is hemp. So I held a wool that she spun with hemp. And then I ended up doing the crab stitch on the edge in the burgundy hemp alone. And I love this thing, you guys. This is such a good idea to use your end scraps. So as you can see from this shot, it's a corner to corner. So we all love how corner to corner has textures. So anyway, look me up on my Ravelry. I'll put a link to that in the comments. So then we went to Branson and we had lots of fun. And then it came time to go home. And there is a store in Gove, Kansas. So my father lives in Garden City, Kansas and dropped him off in Garden City and then I headed home to the middle of Nebraska. And an hour and a half northeast of Garden City is Gove, Kansas. And this is owned, this store is called Gove City Yarns and Buttons. It's owned by Betty McDonald. She is older and she, the building and the business are for sale. So if you are interested, you should totally contact her. She's had a couple fall, fall through and she would love to hear from you. Um, 
all of her yarn is half price. Um, she's still got a lot of stock because I think she started with a lot of stock because this is the third time I've been there and she still has lots of stock. So go there. Um, she did say she'd be willing to ship to anybody. So um, if you go to the Gove City Yarns Google page, people have put up photos. I put up a photo, but it's just of me and Betty and not um, like the content. So other people have posted pictures of the content. So you could look around in there. She's got a lot of amazing stuff and I'm about to show you some amazing stuff. So anyway, you should go there and look at that. Um, she's amazing. She's amazing. 50% off everything, you guys. Everything. Everything. In fact, she gave me... Yeah, she gave me... So when I first walked in, and she's got lots... You can tell that she's a little artistic. You know, those like clothing designer type people. Some of those people are like... They have fabric all over the place. They have notions and ribbons all over the place. They have sketches all over the place. And it looks a little messy to most of us, but that's how they're inspired. Um, I think she's that type of person. She, she loves to crochet and she loves to knit and she's got already done stuff all over the place. I touched a couple of her felted hats and she's like, you want that? That's for sale. You want that? And uh, scarves of all kinds and sweaters and vests and hats and um, felted little bowls and baskets. Just stuff everywhere. Everywhere. You guys really need to go there and get her stuff because it's amazing. Um, her building is small and made out of like sandstone bricks, which a lot of buildings down there in southwest Kansas are. And the building is the cutest thing. She owns it outright that I've ever seen. And I would love to lift it up and put it in my side yard and open and keep her business open. That's what I want to do. But probably moving that heavy of a building five hours would not be feasible. Anyway, one of the first things I saw when I walked in there was this. So it's pretty much just a long scarf with two, um, it's sewn together at the head here and then it's open at the neck and then you can wrap it around yourself this is, I seriously, it went to the floor. I wrapped it around myself four times and she made it out of this yarn, knitted it. And I was like, oh, this is kind of amazing. And she immediately handed me this book and she sold me the book for half price. It was $18. I paid $9 for it. And blue isn't really my color. So I didn't get that yarn. But I did get his sister, which is this gray. Oh, there, it's doing it justice. It's brown and tan, and then it's got speckles of colors in it. There's some pink there. Look, there it is. Look how pretty that is. I bought enough of these to make that um, scarf hoodie. I don't know, I think it's got a special name. <laughs> But this is pretty soft and ten dollars so she charged me five and this is 60 percent mohair 25 percent viscose and 15 percent polyamide and it's 83 yards one two three four. so i got six of these i think i'm gonna make that scarf hood that will be really fun so she's also got a lot of knitting needles and notions, like a whole lot. And I've been wanting to buy these from her for mainly for this reason, since I don't think the business is going to be open much longer. It's got her name of her business on it. Gove City Yarns, Gove, Kansas. Serendipity 11. To be honest with you, I don't know what Serendipity is. You guys should tell me is that the brand name of the hook oh it is looky here handcrafted made in Rhode Island uh, turned from North American white birch each pair of polymer clay finials Let's see if I can get those on the camera aren't those pretty is individually handcrafted by a small group of skilled artisans available in a wide variety of styles to suit anyone's personality. She had a lot of these left, you guys. 
So she has $22 on here, and to be honest, I have not even looked at the invoice, but she probably charged me $11. Aren't those neat? So that might be fun to knit that with. Um, 80% llama, 20% merino. It's very nice. Much, much softer than that alpaca. Um, this is produced by Wheatfield Llamas of Kansas. They are no longer in business, she told me. But this is really nice. Look what the asking price was on this, you guys. $42. Yeah, I didn't pay that. But I'm very happy to have this. And then I got... I'll try to go through these fast because we'll be here a long time. Was that 80%? Yep. So this is the same thing, only in a tan or khaki. And if you guys could feel this, you would just, you would be amazed how soft. There's two more. Oh, and here's another one. Oh, this one, this one is different. This one is from Peru. Indicida, Indicida, and this was $20, and this is 100% alpaca, and it is undyed, and this is very soft, so it must be because they're from Peru, I'm not sure. Um, this is Cascade, so this is a pretty popular, um, made in Peru, 100% baby alpaca, $12.99, so I paid $6.50, made in Peru. This is really soft, and this is, it's looking a little burgundy, but it's brown. Yeah, it's definitely brown. So soft, you guys. Squishy. It's amazing. Um, This is cotton merino. Look at this. So this is 70% cotton. 30% Lana Virgin, Lana Virgin wool. This is really soft, and it was kind of this, I got the only one of these in each of these three colors. So that's not very much yarn. And look, if you look, you can see real good there, it's chain spun. So that's the best. We love chain spun. And look at the fuzz on that green. Oh, it's nice. So that's probably going to be some cowls. And I've made myself enough cowls that it probably will be for sale. And then, oh yes, is this another one? Oh, this one I only got one of. 40% wool, 30 camel, 30 alpaca. Look at that. Calm wool, they're calling it. So this is really soft. Really soft. So I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, so I just got the one. Nice. What have you guys all made with this? I'd love to hear what all you've made. Um, I was really in an orange mood because it's fall finally. So I got four of these. Um, 50% super fine alpaca and 50 wool. So this is 50, 50. And this is very, very soft. Four of those. And then I got some gray too. Make it so it's not all orange. Got two grays and four oranges. I'm thinking scarf hat set. I'm not sure. You guys help me. Um, I got two of these. Amity Prince. 75% acrylic, 25 wool, 200 yards. Made in Turkey. This might even be machine washable since it's got so much acrylic in it. But you know, it doesn't say. I would probably wash it. I wouldn't have any issues with it. I got two of these. That'll make them. You know, those pocket shawls are really common now, and I'm really enjoying making them. I've made like four different patterns. I'm making a complicated one, a cascade pocket shawl. I'll put the link to that. It's a paid pattern, and it's amazing. So anyway, I just like those colors, and that would make a beautiful pocket shawl. Um, 
And this is the last thing that I, oh no, I have another. But this, 50% mold, 25 acrylic, and 25 alpaca. Look at the orange colors. I think I calculated this to be enough for a pocket shawl, and that's why I bought the whole package. Isn't that pretty? The color is not as bright an orange as it is in real life. I probably should get some good lights. This is bright orange, and this is awesome. And then a last minute purchase I got as I was walking out the door is this. I've heard other people talking about this. Buccal. When is it that fly? And it's kind of weird, but I thought it would make a cute cowl. So I just bought one of those for the heck of it. And because I like the color. All orange. I'm on an orange kick. So... That was all that I got at the at Gove City Yarns. So I already showed you the Palm Nelly that was from the first trip. So on the way home, had to stop again. And guess what? The lady had a surprise for me. The owner, Cheryl. Is it Cheryl? Yeah, Cheryl. I'm trying to find my surprise. Here it is. I kind of complained to her because I thought that those two skeins of that alpaca was not quite enough for me. And she had two more ready for me. So, yeah, I got two more. So, this is 209 yards. Isn't that nice? Two hundred and fifty five yards. So maybe I can make a pocket shawl without fringe. <laughs> nice, huh? I'm super excited. Yay. Um and then guess what? I found the discount bin. I found the discount bin. It's not very big there. It's limited, but I found some stuff to buy. So this is huge. And it's just a standard acrylic. Um, there's nothing special about this except for the price. So everything was half price. So can you see that? $15. So I paid $7.50 for this. And this is, um, how many yards is this? 341 yards. Pretty green with some khaki in there. A little tan. I think that's the only one I got that's that color. And then I found the same one in purple. I have a sister-in-law who loves purple. I have a sister-in-law and a sister that love purple. So I might make something for them. And then I got three of these. So did I not show that good enough? That was um, Marble Chunky. Machine washable by James Brett. So yeah, I just like the colors. And I got four of this color. And then, what else did I get? Oh my goodness. So I have, oh yeah. I have another splurge item. And then the rest of it was off the discount. So wouldn't have got it except it was on sale. Oh, this one's on sale too. 60 acrylic and 40 wool hand wash lay flat to dry. That's a five weight. But aren't those browns pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty mixed with some orange? Gorgeous. I love this. I'm so glad it was on sale. Borealis. Yeah. I only get one of those. And then here's the thing that I've never touched anything like this before in my life. This is called Ariado 70% baby alpaca, 70% wool, 23 nylon. I wonder if that's even, but that's not machine. Hand wash dry flat, 283 yards. Oh, Plymouth yarn. 
look how soft and wonderful this is. So after I get my hands on this and I get started on something, I'll probably have all kinds of ideas of what to do with it. Isn't that neat? You guys, this is so soft. So soft. I have never felt anything like this in my whole life. It is really, really amazing. And then... Yep, this was off the discount bin too. Hand wash, lay flat, made in Italy. 100% nylon. Marmont. Look how fuzzy this is. Not, you know, I'm a natural fiber girl. I'm not a huge fan of 100% nylon, but the price was right. This was four bucks. And it's pretty fuzzy, so that would make a great cowl. And I got four of those. This should be plenty for a cowl. And then, you know, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I just got it because it was $3.25. Machine wash cold. Made in Italy. 60% cotton, 23% polyester, 17 acrylic. So this is silver, and it's way too skinny for me, but I could add some glitz to something else with this. Putting some silver in something else. Make it sparkle. Oh, that's kind of a, oh, that's a like a sky blue. This one is silver. See the difference? Those are nice. Then I got a burgundy one. Nice. This one is, I'll hold it up next to the silver. This one's kind of yellow. I like that a lot. Um, it's kind of medium for softness. It's not very soft, but it's certainly not rough at all. And then all the rest of this, I just got some cotton because it was on sale. <laughs> These are the three colors. I got a lot of the purple and none of, and I got everything they had. Which, those are pretty nice. Um, I've been selling a lot of washcloths and pot holders and like market bags. And this will be great for that. Let's read the specs. 100% cotton, 113 yards. King Cole. Skipped in UK. $3.85, I paid half that. So, that'll go good. Added to my cotton collection. Um, That's about all I have. That's everything. I'm pretty excited, but, you know, my yarn um, area was full. And now, I have to make a new one. And I inherited a glass curio cabinet that's right over there that I'm probably not going to show you yet because it's not cleaned up yet. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day cleaning that up and maybe putting all natural fibers in there and leaving the acrylic in the other room. Definitely get all the cons together. I probably need to crochet or knit a bowl, a large bowl or basket to put all these little cottons in because I have a bunch more. So while I do enjoy a good Hobby Lobby clearance, I really appreciate supporting the small businessman, especially in these times, the small business people need our support. And if you know, if you know a yarn store owner, you need to go there and buy some of their stuff. Um, yeah, I do my fair share of shopping on Hobby Lobby, Joann's and Michaels.com. We don't have a Michaels here. Um, but I think we're going to start shifting more of our dollars to these type stores. And I'm really, really happy with the mostly all natural fibers that I got. And I hope to get a lot more, but first I need to crochet a bunch of stuff up and knit. So anyway, I hope you all are having a good day. I hope that you enjoyed looking at all this yarn because it was super exciting for me. So have a great day. Bye everybody.